In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create pie charts like this inside of Notion. Don't worry, there's no third party app involved here and you can create these pie charts right inside Notion itself. It's all made possible due to a handy coding language called Mermaid. No, not that type of mermaid. It's a diagram and charting tool that's already built into Notion and I'm going to break it all down for you into simple terms. Let's get started. So here we have a couple of examples of some pie charts that I've created inside of Notion. These are the same pie chart, they're just different colors. I'm gonna show you now how to create this and then how to customize it as well. So to create your pie chart, the first thing we're gonna do is grab the code block. So you just want to type in forward slash code and select this block here, which is going to bring up a box like this. The first thing you need to do is ensure that the language here is set to mermaid. So if you just click on here, there are a ton of different coding languages that are built into Notion. So as I said, just make sure that you select mermaid. So you can just type it in here and click mermaid. And you also want to ensure that this option here is set to split. Okay, so let's begin building the pie chart. So as I said, Mermaid is actually a coding language. So we are gonna write in some code in this box to actually generate our pie chart. So the first thing we need to tell it is what type of chart we want to create. So we want to create a pie chart. So I'm simply just gonna type in the words pie. And as you can see, it's already generating a circle for us, which is great. Next on my keyboard, I'm gonna hit enter and then tab. And next we're gonna start inputting the labels for each different segment of the pie chart. So in this case, let's do a monthly expense pie chart like I showed in the example. So the first expense could be rent. So I'm gonna put two quotation marks like this and inside them, I'm simply gonna type rent, which is gonna be the name of our label. They want to add a colon like this. And next we're gonna input the amount for rent. So let's say that I spend $1,000 every month on rent. So I'm just gonna type in 1,000. So you don't need to input the percentage or anything like that you can simply just input the amount and the pie chart itself will work out the percentages for you. So that's really handy. So next we're gonna input the different pie segments. So I'm gonna hit enter again and tab and let's add two more quotation marks. And inside here, let's put our next segment. So let's put bills as an example, colon. And let's say I spend $300 on bills. So I'm gonna add 300 in there. So as you can see now on our pie chart, it is starting to add these segments. So it's actually working out, as I said, those percentages for us. So it's saying I spend 77% of my money on rent and 23% of my money on bills. So I'm just gonna quickly add a few more different segments. So again, just enter, tab, the quotation marks. Let's next add shopping, colon, and I'm gonna write 150. And that's now been added to the chart. And I'm just gonna add a few more quickly. Okay, so as you can see, I've just added a few more labels and these are now showing up in our pie chart. So the next thing that we're gonna do is add a title to our pie chart. So this is my monthly expenses. So let's add that as a title. So to do that, you want to put your cursor next to the word pie, hit enter and just underneath we're simply just going to write title and then just whatever you want the title to be so I'm going to put monthly expenses and then as you can see that's now been added as a title on the pie chart so another thing that you may want to do with the pie chart is actually show the numbers for each of the segments so on here it'll say 57 percent but maybe I actually want to see the exact data on here as well so simply to be able to do that all we're going to do is next to the word pie we're just going to type the words show data like this and as you can see now next to the labels here it is showing the exact data on here as well which is really useful so just before we jump back into the tutorial I just want to mention that my new second brain template is now available on my store. It's a super advanced all-in-one productivity system. I'll leave a link in the description box below if you're interested. So that's all back to the tutorial. So our pie chart is coming together nicely but it is a little bit boring with these grey colours. It would be nice if we could add some colour into this pie chart. So let's do that now. So one thing that the mermaid coding language allows us to do is configure the pie chart with different themes that they already have set and we can also customise those themes ourselves as well. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to place my cursor before the word pie and hit end so that we have a new line up here at the top and I'm simply going to type two percentages like this, two curly brackets like this and then two more percentages after it so it looks like this and then inside those curly brackets we're simply going to write the words init like this, a colon, two more curly brackets inside of here and then inside those curly brackets we're going to do quotation mark the word theme, another quotation mark, colon, quotation mark and let's start with the default theme so I'm simply going to type the words default and add one more quotation mark here so it looks like this. So in this instance the word init actually stands for initialize and it's what actually allows us to customize this diagram. So as you can see now that I've added this little bit of code here it is now showing color on our pie chart so it looks a lot better than it did before. Now there are actually several different built-in themes with Mermaid that you can change this to so instead of default we could try base which looks like this we could try dark which looks like this there's also forest 
which is a nice green color. So in this case, I'm actually just gonna stick with the default option, which was this one. So as I said, these are the themes that are built into Mermaid, but you can actually customize pretty much anything on this pie chart. We can customize the colors of the segments. We can customize the outline color, the font, the colors of the title and the labels down here. We can pretty much customize anything. So I'm gonna show you now how you can do that. So we're gonna add some more code to this section here, but just to make it a little bit easier to read, I'm actually just gonna put this on separate lines. So just before the word init, I'm just gonna hit enter and tab so that it looks like this. Again, just after this curly bracket here, I'm gonna hit enter and tab twice. And then just before the final curly brackets, I'm just gonna hit enter as well. So it's now just a little bit easier to see the different elements within our code. So let's start by adding custom colors to these different segments within our pie chart. So to do that, I'm gonna add a comma here after our theme and hit enter and tab twice. I'm then gonna type in quotation mark and the words theme variables like this and one more quotation mark and a colon. And then I'm gonna open my curly bracket and I do just need to place another curly bracket to close it. So I'm actually just gonna add that here with these other ones. So just add another closing one here. So there should be three curly brackets and two percentage signs. So again, I'm gonna hit enter and tab three times. And now we can start setting the colors of our segment. So for the first segment, we're simply gonna type quotation mark, pi one, quotation mark, colon. And then I can write the color that I want the first segment to be. So let's add two quotation marks and inside let's say that we want this to be red. And as you can see this one is now updated to red. So you can actually write in any color into here. So if I wanted it to be blue I could type in blue. If I wanted it to be green I can type in green and it will just bring up that exact color. You can also add hex codes in here. So if there is a specific color that you want you can simply just type in the hex code. So let's just go and grab one of those. So I've just come over to this hex code color picker. So let's say I want to go for a green color. Maybe I want to go for this one. So I can simply just copy this hex code here and let's go back over to Notion. Okay, and instead of green, if I just get rid of that and paste in that hex code, as you can see, it's now pulled through that exact green color that I just selected. So that's a really nice way to add absolutely any color that you want into this. So I can do the same for the other segments. So I'll just add another comma and enter and tab three times and we can add pi two within quotation marks a colon and again I can do the same thing so let's say I want this one to be orange and as you can see the second segment has now become orange so I'm just going to add a custom color for each of the different segments so I've just added some colors for each of the different segments and this is now what our pie chart looks like so as I said you can also change this black outline color as well so to do that we can add in the variable pie stroke color like that colon and you can just do the exact same thing just input the color here so let's just make it purple purple as an example. So as you can see, that's made these lines here purple. And now there is a separate line that goes all the way around the pie chart. So to change the color of that one, we can use the variable pie outer stroke color like this. And let's just make that purple as well. So let's change this outer circle color here. We can also change the font for the title and labels as well. So to do that, we're gonna add the variable font family like this. Again, colon. And inside two quotation marks here, we can actually write the name of the font. So some that I like to use are Monaco, for example, which looks like this. You can use Arial, you can use Monospace, which looks like that. There are a ton of different options. Verdana. You can try Luminari if you want something a bit more interesting, but I think for this one, I'm just gonna stick with Monaco because I like how that one looks. We can also make this text size within the pie chart bigger. So these percentages are quite small, but if you want to make them a little bit bigger, let's add another variable. And this one is gonna be pie section text size like that, colon. And inside these quotation marks, we're gonna put the pixel size that we want them to be. So if I put it to 30 pixels, as you can see, they've become really, really large. So you can just play around with it until it's the size that you want. Let's try 20 like this or maybe 25 they're still quite big so you can easily see the different percentages here so i think that's all i'm going to do for now i think i might just change the stroke color back to black I think it just looks a little bit better. So the final thing we're gonna do is change the display option. So you probably don't wanna see all this code when you're just trying to look at your pie chart. So you simply just wanna come up here where it says split and we can actually just change this to preview. And that is just gonna show the pie chart with none of the code. If you do want to see the code at any point, you can either change it back to split or if you just want to see the code without the chart, you can just click on code and it will show just the code. So in this case, we're gonna stick with preview so that we can see the pie chart only. And that's it. You can check out all of my pre-made Notion templates, including 
including this super advanced second brain template over on my store. I'll leave a link in the description box below. And if you did find this video useful, then I'd really appreciate if you could give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as I post new Notion tutorials like this one twice a week.